Hey YouTube, I'm uh, doing some more work on the uh, 72 Mustang convertible and now I'm working on kind of cleaning up the engine bay and the uh, valve covers and you know, start painting everything so of course you pop off the valve covers I'm going to go take them to the sandblaster clean them up and the, uh, the heat riser for cold weather that thing's looking kind of rough and I'm going to sandblast that and paint it and uh, basically get them to look like the air cleaner that I did uh, while I have that stuff off, um, even though these motors have oops, some light on you, even though these motors have hydraulic valves, the valves are adjustable. So I was going to do a little how-to on how to uh, uh, adjust them. And in my case, what I have is a set of uh, those cheap Chinese uh, chrome valve covers that always turn to rust in about a month. And I took those a while ago and just cut the tops off. This valve adjustment is going to be done while the motor is running, and when you do that, uh, oil splashes up through the center of the valve and uh, comes down out of it. If you uh, leave it normal, sometimes the oil runs over the side of the uh, head and uh, pisses down onto your exhaust and makes it a mess. So I just make these valve covers up to kind of uh, deter the oil to go back down the galleys right there. So. Uh, having said that, here's the operation of what it does because you may not be able to hear me when it's running. But basically, there are a 5 a stud, and you'll know if you have the adjustable type because you'll be able to tell by the, the top of the rocker. Some of them have a stop that they go against, and some of them have a bolt that just runs right down the center of it. And uh, it's just a positive stop, and that's it. And the lifter kind of just adjusts uh, to that. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is putting this guy on there with a deep socket because you need it and uh, you have to twist it back and forth so I don't want to bother with a ratchet having to switch the head back and forth so a little 3 8 breaker bar actually comes in useful for the very few times I ever use that thing um, and what you're doing is you're backing the valve off until you start hearing the valve tap and you can let it set there for a second just because the lifter if the valve was cranked down a lot the lifter will take a second to pump back up again to take up that distance. Um, then, uh, once it gets totally topped out, I guess you call it, then you could run it in so just so it stops tapping. And then you want to go between a half and three quarters uh, from there, and that's basically where it needs to sit. Uh, this will kind of cure two problems. One being if you have a valve tap. The other being sometimes if they're cranked down too far. It actually um, causes just like a rough idle and uh, it is holding the valve open just a little bit too long. Uh, the lifter is actually not in its threshold of uh, where it operates. So um, one thing that you just don't want to do is rev the motor up because it will piss oil all over everything. Uh, but at an idle it's fine. If your motor, uh, when the choke's on, revs kind of high. Uh, Start the motor up first, let it run for a while, and um, then pop your valve covers off, and by the time you go to start it back up, it'll be warm enough where it's just that idle speed. And again, after you pop your valve covers off, you hook up your vacuum lines and your distributor cap and everything. So, here we go. Yes, one's it's probably been about uh, 45 minutes since I started this thing because I was uh, parting around some other stuff. And we're idle on it like 800, 750. oil pumping through the center. It's not pouring out, but uh, if you rev it up, it will. So we're going to back that off and start getting some tapping. Now I'm already past three quarters and it's still not even tapping. There you go. We're going to let that set for a second. Okay, I would 
all that quiet right there. Yeah, I'll start stumbling, but that lift has got to just adjust out. It kills that cylinder for a minute, so it'll pump the extra oil out. That's half. You can hear how it smooths out. That's the oil. Uh, when I backed it off, it, it pumped the lifter up even further. A little hydraulic cylinder figure. And then uh, when I went to go crank it back down, now I had extra oil in it that I had to get back out. And we're just going to go right down the line. Half. That's three quarters. That's a turn. All right, we're starting to tap right there. That sounds quiet. So now we're gonna go in. I'll go a half a turn. Hear how it's skipping? It's basically holding that valve open. And if you wait a second, the extra oil will pump out of that cylinder. And that's basically what you can do right on down the line. You can, now you can see, all right, the first two valves I've done, they're over tight. Well over a turn on that one for those cabin. Okay, my cap's gone away. And just looking at my handle, I can tell I need to get it to there. Now they have a procedure to do this while it's not running. But it involves kind of backing it off and um, Turning the push rod so that you have a, uh, a free spinning push rod, but you got to find out where the top dead center is on that cylinder and all that. This is just a bunch easier. If you're doing the valve covers, you got to leak your valve cover gasket. And again, you could do this without the covers on. It's just going to piss some oil. You see down there, you can see the oil kind of sitting in the trough. And I just have three bolts on the bottom, just kind of hand tight. basically all you do right down the line. If you do find that your valves are tapping a little bit, you can go for that three-quarter. I'd rather just kind of go for the, the half and three-quarter. Um, especially as the motor warms up, things seem to expand some. So uh, with that, that's what the process is. The same process actually holds true for uh, Chevy motors that have adjustable valves. I don't know exactly what the um, spec is between half and three quarter, but I have a feeling it's probably pretty close to that. And uh, having said that, that's the process of adjusting the valve while the motor's running. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'll make more.